Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I really appreciate that you spent time to watch my videos and I hope you will enjoy this one. In this video I will turn a large beach bowl with some beautiful uh, spalding. I will do a little bit different rim on this one to try and mix it up a little. I'm using a 5H inch bowl gouge with swept back wings 60 degrees to rough out the bowl. I'm using the skew to get an angle on my tenon. It's very important to get the right angle that fits for the chuck system that you have so the grip is as optimal as possible so you don't have your bowls and other stuff flying around the room. To get the last cut and finish shape of the bowl, I changed to my 13mm or half inch 45 degrees bowl gout. I turned the piece around and straighten off the surface and then I measured the diameter of the hole I wanted in the bowl and started to shape the rim of the bowl. As I said in the beginning of the video I wanted to try and make some different rim that I normally do. Normally I just make a straight rim and this one I wanted to play with a little.
At the day of the turning, I started to running out of time, so I decided to seal the end crane so I could uh, put the bowl away and start on it again on another day. So I didn't get too much splitting in the end grain when it started drying. The bowl was left in the shop in about a week. And when I got back to it, I started by taking out a piece with the bowl saver to try and save some of this beautiful grained uh, spalted birch. Even though my lathe only have one horsepower, it handled the woodcut bowl saver quite good. And after getting it, I have been able to save some uh, wood and get some more bolts turned. After it was left in the shop for around a week, I did get a little cracking and I used some 5-minute epoxy to fill that out. Normally I would use a thin CA for this, but I think the CA is coloring my wood too much for, for a light wood like this, so I would uh, try this instead. If some of you have a trick to... Um, do so the CA don't coloring the piece you are using it on I would very much like to hear it in the comments I started to hollow out the bowl with the bowl garth. The plan was to hollow out the underside of the rim so you have the same curve when you stick in your fingers and feel like you see on the outside as much as possible. To achieve this I will change to my hook tool 12mm carbide when the hollowing is not possible with the bowl garth anymore. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From my feet The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful Take a step back See the truth around you In the distance you can take 
I centered the piece from grid 80 to grid 240 and after the sanding I gave it two coat of Hamshishin Thrillalo sanding sealer I then treated the bowl with the abrasive paste and then gave it three coat of Danish oil with four hours between each coat and at the end I gave it the micro crystalline wax from Hamshishin I gave it three coats to get a really deep shine thank you very much for watching my video I hope you will subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell below and leave a comment in the comment section that will greatly help my channel to grow and help me make more videos like this have a nice day and stay safe out there.